Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts, where I do crafts in my pajamas. Uh, send it to the ladies. Send it to the ladies who watch our videos? Yeah. Silly goose. You did so good on that piece. Yeah. Yeah. Before we get started with the DIYs, I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is in collaboration with Amber from DIY with Amber. I love her channel, and if you guys have not uh, been over there yet, make sure you go check her out. I will have her video linked down in the description below. Make sure you go check her out because she always does amazing, beautiful farmhouse decor, and I know you are going to love the items that she made as well. So we decided to do some patriotic decor for you guys today. All of mine is using Dollar Tree supplies. For the first project, I'm just starting out with this little blue bottle from Dollar Tree, and it actually was in the nautical section, but I thought it could work well for a patriotic DIY. DIY. So I just took that little fish off of it and tied a little jute string around it and added in some wheat that my mother-in-law gave me from Amazon and a little flag that I distressed a little bit with some ink. I forgot to show that part so I apologize but I think it turned out really cute. Hi! <laughs> For the second DIY, I'm using another nautical piece from Dollar Tree. It had this little uh, metal piece across the top, and I was able to unscrew that very easily, but it was also glued down. So I just took this little scraper and peeled that up underneath. I made sure to try to keep it as flat as possible so that the metal did not get bent and we succeeded but when I took it off there was so much glue on the bottom then I remember this hack that my aunt told me about um, which was to use some hand sanitizer so I just had this spray hand sanitizer that I sprayed onto there and I just left it on there for a few minutes and everything came right off it was perfect and then I was actually able to remove the words on the metal with just some nail polish. Then I just flipped the piece over and used a hair dryer to remove the sticker, and then Brie is helping me paint it red. I used some contact paper from Walmart to make this stencil with my Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, you could always just use regular stencils, but I just use some cheap contact paper uh, from Walmart, and then I also have the clear contact paper that I use for my transfer tape. It's also from Walmart, and it's the Duck brand, and I think it's the best ever. I do have an old video on how I make my contact paper stencils with my Cricut. I'll leave that link down below, but I just placed that onto the metal piece, and then I used an old brush to just stipple the paint on top of there, which basically Basically means to just bounce the brush up and down. If you use this technique instead of swiping the brush back and forth you won't get so much bleeding underneath. Now I was so sad because apparently I just didn't press record for this part but after I was finished putting the words on I just took some black and brown paint and stippled along the edges and where the screw was and just a few places here and there to make it look a little rusty and more distressed and then I screwed that piece back in and I think it turned out beautiful. For the last DIY, I decided to use these coasters that I had from Dollar Tree. I've had these for several years, planning to do something with them, but it's taken me so long to get started on it. But since there were three of them, I thought they would be perfect to make some patriotic coasters. So I just used some painter's tape to make some lines on two of the coasters and painted on my stripes and then Brie painted the other piece blue all by herself. She was so proud. She did such a great job. I had to do several coats to cover up that design underneath so I used my hair dryer in between to make the time go faster and that works perfectly when you're using painter's tape but I would not suggest doing that with the contact paper. I have done it in the past and then it leaves a sticky residue from the heat. So don't make that same mistake that I did. So then I used my Cricut again to make some little star shapes and I just stippled some cashew colored paint onto 
my blue coaster so that I could have those pretty stars on there. Again, if you don't have a Cricut, you could paint the whole thing white first and then put a bunch of star stickers on it and then paint blue on top. Then you can take the star stickers off and those white stars will be underneath. I hope that makes sense. Next, I just decided to distress all of these. I distressed with the lighter color on top of the darker colors and the darker color on top of the lighter colors, if that makes sense. So on the white, I used the brown to distress and I added a little extra um, on the edges of each stripe. And then I used the cashew color to go over the red stripes as well as the edges of the blue tile. Once I got the distressed look that I was going for, I was finished with the painting, but I needed to seal these so that they would be waterproof so that I could actually use them for coasters. This sealant is from Hobby Lobby. I believe it's called Americana something. I'll try to leave it linked in the description. Anyway, it dries matte, so it looks perfect for farmhouse decor, but it is waterproof, so I absolutely love that for farmhouse decor. Anything that you wanna put outside, you can put it over chalk paint and it will be sealed. I really, really love it. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do have all of my social media linked down in the description. You can go follow me there. And don't forget to check out Amber's video. I know you guys are going to love everything that she makes over there. So make sure to show her some love as well. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. You did so good on that piece. Yeah. Yeah. Good little mama. <laughs>